Welcome back to Elevate Her to Go Jess Mars. And we are going to be doing a podcast episode every single week. So get ready to rumble. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But I just want to say, not only am I elevating my life, but I feel like we should do this together. Hence why I Elevate Her. I really believe that we deserve the best life. And that really starts with the mind and how we do things practically every single day. So today's topic is going to be when you're going through a transition in life, how to navigate it, what to do, etc. We're going to start off with a Bible quote because God is the center of everything. Okay, ready? Seek his will in all you do and he will show you which path to take. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. I had to drop the phone because, oh wow. Here's the thing. As humans, I truly believe we try to control everything and I am talking from experience, my love. Especially in Europe, I wanted to control everything. When I'm talking to a guy, I want to control how it's going. There's so many things in my life that I unwillingly realize that I am controlling or I'm trying to control. But if we just seek God and ask him to guide us and to help us, especially when we're going through a transition in our life, that could be a breakup. That could be work. That could not, you, could, you don't even know what you're meant to do next, but you know, you know, you're going through a transition. That was me. Feeling lost and scared and knowing that you want more, but you don't know what more is. It's actually the best place to be because you have unlimited abilities. You have unlimited access to what potential you can do. You know, we can really do anything as long as we see God first. So I really wanted to say that little Bible verse because I feel like instead of us trying to figure everything out ourselves, especially as women, why don't we just give it to God and let us lean back and allow him to do what he does best which is make everything work out for us because that's what we're designed we're designed by him and he has the perfect plan and yet we are trying to make our own we're trying to like dig a whole pathway when god's like i have a path right here like it's everything's built for you but you're willingly going over there because you want to build it yourself why do i understand no do you understand probably not that's okay. That's why we are here because we want to elevate our lives together, not only for ourselves, but for God, because what an insult it is for us not to live the best life. God literally wants us to be the best. He, we like, we are his children. <laughs> Doesn't your parents, don't your parents want the best for you? Pardon me then. So I will tell you about my transition and let's talk about how it's relevant to every single person. I don't know if it's just me, but I also don't think it is because I've been speaking to so many people and they have said the same thing about they're really unsure what they're doing in life. Everyone's confused. Maybe it's because of this whole financial situation that everyone's going through. Yep. But I just feel like everyone is going through a period in their life where they're either transitioning or they want to transition or they're already in a transition and they don't know what the hell's happening I want to tell you something for the longest time I've wanted to be a makeup artist and I love it. I love being a makeup artist, right? But you know, when in your heart, you just know you're designed for more. That was me. And I really feel like God puts us through things in life, especially at a younger age that he knows we can handle at the time. We we might be like, why am I going through this terrific, terrific, horrific thing? But I really believe it's because God wants us to come out of it so we can get better. And then we can help people that have gone through similar things. Like, for example, abuse, sexual abuse, mental abuse, friendships failing. Babes, I've had it all. Don't worry. (laughs) But it's such a blessing. It really is because you look at life differently. Now, if you're going through a transition, I want you to relax. Let's all like sit down. Let's all get comfy. Let's relax. The reason I say relax is because when I felt like I was going through a transition, I realized I was going through it because I didn't have the same passion. I didn't have the same drive that I had even half, like I was going to say half a year ago, like three months ago. I didn't have the same drive that I had recently. And I was like, I I feel like I'm over it, but why should I be over it? Because it's doing so well. I'm not even kidding. My business has done tremendous like tremendously i'm using very interesting words has done very well in the last year or so right and i'm so grateful but yet i don't feel happy isn't that the funniest thing that we think success is built on when you get to a certain part in your life for me i've been traveling the world and teaching and i love it and i'm so 
excited. But as soon as it's over, I'm like, cool. It's like when you buy something new, you're really excited for a little bit. And then you're like, okay, it's that fulfilling, that fulfillment that we are lacking. And I believe when you're going through a transition, no matter which direction, which area of your life you're going through it, I truly believe it's for the best. And we might be scared. I've, what are we in August? I'm not even kidding. From the beginning of the year, I have been feeling lost. I've been feeling confused. I've been feeling, what am I meant to do? God, I don't know what to do. What is my transition? I know I'm meant to do something better, but I have no idea what. And I was getting frustrated and angry. And I felt like I was also not putting myself out there for my work because I know I don't want to do this anymore, but at the same time, I need to do it. So it's just like this whole limbo effect, right? I'm here to tell you, this is the best thing, best time ever. This is the best thing that could ever happen to you, like legitimately. Do you know why? Because usually when you're going through a transition, you are growing. When you're not going through a transition, you're pretty stagnant. That means your life is just like this. You're not having a beat. We want a beat. We want to go higher. We want our life is so precious and so freaking incredible (laughs) like why would we not want to go through a transition why would we not want something different now if you are going through a breakup because that is a whole different transition it's scary because you're like am I going to be loved the same same way I was loved before am I going to have a good life how am I going to be I was so dependent on this person I would speak to them every single day it was just the thing that we did right congratulations if you are going through a breakup I'm very happy for you just want to say that (laughs) congratulations if you have gotten fired or you're starting a new job or whatever the bad thing you're going through congratulations ah how exciting (laughs) the reason why it's so exciting is because you are now going to be changing the way you look at life and I really hope it's for the best if you're watching this it's for the best because going through a transition usually is a sign of growth growth in a whole different path Ah, I'm squeezing my hand because I'm so excited. I really feel like when we are stuck in the transition, when we're stuck in the mud and we don't have the other foot on the grass, we're stuck in it, we can't see how close the grass is, but it's so close. If you just reach over your foot, you might be thinking, how do I reach over my foot? Well, let's start with some daily rituals, okay? You know me. I always got to be practical because I can say all this stuff and then you're like, yeah, yeah, cool. But then when... You come down to it, you're like, okay, how do I actually implement this? Because I'm not feeling it today. So these are things I did when I was really confused and lost. And I was going through, I was like crying. I felt so lazy. I hated not doing anything. I felt like I wasn't doing enough. I just want to remind you, especially my ladies out there, we don't need to work hard. We don't need to hustle. No, we don't need to. No, we don't need to. Okay. We... Are just meant to be. God created us to be and to be like feminine and to be free and to be loving and caring and nurturing and have fun. Oh, my love, have fun because it's so funny when you're just having fun and not thinking much about anything. An idea comes, an opportunity comes, something might come. For my people that are in a transition, this is what I want you to do. First of all, Like I said, I want you to lean back and relax. Take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. Okay? I want you to look around wherever the hell you are. If you're driving, if you're just sitting outside, if you're at work, wherever you are, I want you to look around. And I want you to realize that where you are right now in this moment, you're never going to be there again. Bless me. (laughs) I felt it coming. I was like, please don't. But it did. Remember that wherever you are now, even if it's a job you don't like, I have so many girls telling me that they hate their job, but I, I guarantee you've learned something from it. I guarantee if it's not about the work itself, it's about the people. You have learned something from it and you are never going to be in this position again. And one day you're going to look back at that job and be like, like I had a really bad job I did not like um, for many reasons. The job itself was actually so easy. It was more so a person and you know what it taught me one it taught me about pilates which i it was i was a pilates girl before pilates was a thing just want to say like literally eight years ago nine years ago even longer and i also i also learned so much about how to deal with people 
in a different way. How to be more patient. I thought I was patient. I was not. How to truly do a job fully 100%, not one footy, one foot out. It taught me so much and I'm so grateful. I really am. At the time, I was not. I was not. But now looking back at it, I'm like, wow, I actually learned so much. And I can say I was a Pilates girl before anyone. <laughs> I know how to sleep properly, you know? Little things like that. Like it's it's so interesting because when you're stuck in the mud, you don't see how beautiful things are around you because you're too busy looking down. But if you just would lift your beautiful head up and look around, maybe you would start being a bit more grateful. When you're grateful for things in your life, it's so interesting how your world starts to shift from the dark cloud and the rain to beautiful sunshine and rainbows. It doesn't rain forever. There has to be some beautiful, I was going to say snowy, sunny day. Take a step back, look around you, realize how grateful you are, realize how lucky you are to be alive, realize how lucky you are now to even be you, no matter your age, right? There's no limit. Another thing I want you to do, I want you to write down a list of fun things you can do. This is something I struggled with, my love. For me, I was like, I just want to watch movies. I don't want to think. I just want to watch some movies. I want to go for my walks. I want to do things that make me happy. Okay? It can be that simple. Going to the gym. Playing with a dog. I don't know. Something that just truly brings you joy. It has nothing to do with whatever transition you're going through. And then I want you to do this fun thing. This is what I do, right? When I'm really like lost, confused and all, all the other things. Other than seeking God, which I highly, highly, highly recommend. I want you to get a piece of paper. This is my game. You know me. I love games. So write, draw a circle. Okay. And then you are that circle. So write whatever the transition you're going through. Let's just say, for example, it's a work tra- work transition. You're shifting. And I'm only using this as an example because this is exactly what I went through. So you write it. For example, I wrote transitioning makeup career and then you draw draw an arrow and make sure it's at the bottom and then you draw the arrow up right and then you draw a big circle as big as your paper can I'm drawing like a humongous circle like I'm painting (laughs) and then inside I want you to write something incredible for me for example I wrote when I wrote my makeup transition I wrote something fulfilling changing people's lives feeling good I wrote more feeling words feeling free feeling happy feeling prosperous feeling satisfied feeling hopeful you don't have to write feeling but you can just write like hopeful yada 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 you will be surprised at how excited you'll be knowing that from wherever you are you are going to be transitioning to something else for another example if you're going through a breakup you're right the transition is going through a breakup broke up with whoever you don't even have to write their name if you don't want to and when you draw the arrow and you draw the circle and then you write the things that you want in a relationship true love peace generosity patience abundance god a godly relationship i promise you i don't know how to explain it but inside you will feel so good and that's also showing yourself and your beautiful brain that okay i'm down here but look at where i'm gonna go Look at where I'm going to go. I'm I'm reaching here. I don't know where it is. And that's the best part about it. You don't know. We act like we know we're going to live forever. We act like we know what we're going to do tomorrow. We act like we know we're going to do this and this and this. But my love, nothing is guaranteed. The only thing that is guaranteed in this life is death. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but it is. So if that is guaranteed, and I'm telling you to jump off a bridge and see if you pass away. No, that's being silly and reckless. I'm saying... If you know that's guaranteed, why are you not living now? Even though you're scared. My love, when you're 50 or 60, God willing, you're going to look back at this time. If you remember it, because it might not even be that relevant to you. But if you do remember this time, you'll be like, what was I ever worried about? What was I ever worried about? I have a saying that no decision is a wrong decision. It just isn't. It's just a redirection. And you might think that that's a bad decision that you just made. But maybe that bad decision is going to lead you to the your bubble have you ever thought of that have you ever thought that maybe this wrong decision is actually going to lead you to what's best no because you're too stuck thinking of the bad switch your perspective start thinking of okay 
I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm lonely. I'm stuck. I'm this. I have no money. But you know what? Everything just works out. It, ju- it just does. It just does. I- I've been alive this long. Clearly something's worked out. <laughs> you know? So I want to just remind you that whatever transition you are going through right now, God literally says to lean on him, not on our, our own understanding. Because my love, we are so short-sighted. We are so, we think we can understand things, but we actually don't. Even if you think you understand something, usually you're assuming something. Usually you're just, it's just the way you see life. It's the way you have been in your little bubble of the world. That is what is your common sense. That's what's happening to you. So why the hell would we not want to change it? And I'm telling you, when you're going through the transition, if you can just have fun with it and be like, you know what? I... I'm in a I'm in a place right now. I'm in space and there's all these beautiful stars around me, which means the opportunities. I know something great is going to stick to me because I am. Hello. I don't know which one, but while I'm going through this, I'm just going to enjoy life because you know what? Why not? <laughs> like, why not? Why should I be stressing? What is stress going to do? It's going to cause wrinkles. Ill. We don't want that. It's going to it's like actually proven that when you stress, it's like a little drop of dis- like, I don't know what it's called, like a disease drips down. Just think of like a beautiful little red, think of your heart and think of like how beautiful it is. But every time you stress, a black drop comes down and it just infests your beautiful body. That is the most terrifying thing I would ever want. And I know we're human and we stress sometimes, but don't let it go past at least five minutes and that's really a long time to stress when you think about it if you want to record it and see <laughs> you'll be surprised sometimes people stress more and you're like oh i need to i need to calm myself down learn the things that make you happy to calm yourself down even if that's hanging out with a friend do like oh my honey my honey <laughs> you are your biggest and greatest project in this life we have the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us. How lucky are we? Blessed. God literally picked you and said, I want this human in this world for this amount of time. And through that time, I truly hope that they learn to rely on me because I have the most perfect, perfect plan for them. But they just keep getting in my way, which is delaying everything. That's why I said, take a step back. Okay, let's wrap up your beautiful homework. One relax sit back sit sit on a couch lay down on the grass by the way that's actually so good but if you have gorgeous hair like mine i would highly recommend getting a towel laying down on the towel and then just looking at the, the sky okay step two is write our game so the circle underneath circle at the bottom up arrow big circle at the top write your beautiful thing that you're going to feel how good you're going to feel with whatever is going to come to you right And then step three, do something fun that has nothing to do with the transition you're going through. Literally, it could be watching a movie. It could be the simplest things. People are always like, I want to do activities. My love, let's be realistic. (laughs) Like I like to watch movies. I like to see my friends. I like to travel. If you can do it, just practical things you can do every single day and you will, it will just come to you. And mine took six months. Can I just say it took six months for me to figure out what I even want to do. But as soon as I figured it out, which was at one o'clock in the morning when me and myself were just talking about the randomest thing, it literally just blurted out of me. And that's how I knew that's what I wanted to do. Because as soon as I said, it, I'm like, I love this idea. This idea, I just felt peace. I felt calm. And I was like, this is what I want to do. My loves. This is the best time of your life. You're going through the most exciting time of your life. You're going through a transition and I'm so excited for you. Ah, You should be excited too. You know why? Because I'm sure you've gone through other transitions in life where school, hello, in Australia, we go through high school and primary school. That was a scary transition. But guess what? You turned out fine to work if you've had a partner before. Like we've all gone through transition it's just when you're an adult sometimes it's scarier because you're like okay now i gotta pay bills and now i gotta do this i'm getting old i want to get married blah 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 we're putting all this unnecessary pressure when we should just get it throw it in the bin write it down the stress get it scrunch it up throw it in the bin and just say you know what i'm gonna just do all the steps i was told because it's gonna make me feel better 
the last step, and this is the most important one, on your phone, because everyone has a phone, okay? Yeah, thanks. On your phone, I want you to do one thing every single day. I want you to write one thing you're grateful for every single day. It can be any time of the day, literally, and pin your notes at the top so you always do it. It can be at night, in the morning, whatever, and it could be the smallest thing. The more you do this, the more you're going to realize how exciting whatever you're coming to is happening. Just remember, my love, when you plant a seed, you don't keep digging it up to see if it's growing because the more you dig it up, the more it's going to start from scratch. You And then eventually you've ruined the seed. No, you dig it up, you water it, you leave it alone and it just flourishes, it blooms. It's just the most exciting thing. You are going through the most exciting thing and I am so excited for us. Let me know in the comments down below what transition you're going through. If you feel comfortable sharing it. I told you mine, it was terrifying, it was scary. I was going through a lot of dark times. Not many people even knew about it. But then I, I was like, hey, what can I do? I turned to God. I started writing my stuff. I felt so good. I, I went on a trip. I came back. I was still lost. And then it all just fell into place exactly how it was meant to. And I know it will happen for you too. Okay, thank you. If you like this, stay tuned because every Thursday we are going to be dropping a new podcast. I am so excited to be elevating each other. I'm telling you in six months, watch where we're going to be. Just watch. I'm excited. I'm excited for us. Bye, my loves.